In this lesson, we are going to solve these two questions I have on the screen. The A says, calculate the volume of an FCC unit cell in terms of the atomic radius R. And then B says, show that the atomic packing factor for FCC crystal structure is 0.74. So let's look at how you are going to find this answers. So the figure I have on the screen here is a picture of how an FCC unit cell looks like. Okay, so we are going to use this figure here to answer these two questions. Okay, so when you look at this figure here, okay, when you look at this figure here, you can see that we have a right angle triangle here. Okay, this is the right angle triangle. Okay, so let's focus on that. Okay, so we are considering each atom to be a sphere. Okay, so these spheres that we have here are atoms. Okay, but it's a section of what the atom. Okay, so what we have here is half of the atom, and then what we have here is what one eighth of what the atom. So let's take note of this. So we are considering the atoms to be a sphere. Okay, and then the radius of each sphere okay is given to be what r okay so that means from this point here to this point here is given as what r okay same thing is happening here this is r okay and then looking at the half atom that you have at the center here okay it is it is half okay so considering the diameter Radius is R, so the diameter board will be 2R. Okay, so over here we are going to have a 2R. So at the end, if you want to know the actual length of this diagonal line, okay, that would be what? This R here plus this R plus what? 2R, and then that will give us what? 4R. So that's why we have 4R there. So the 4R is the entire length of what? The diagonal. Okay, and then we got that by what? Adding the two videos that we have here and then the diameter of what the center half sphere so that's why i have the four r there okay and then we have to determine the volume of what the unit cell okay so we know that this unit cell is cubic okay so the volume we go to what a cube a because the sides are given to be what a okay this is the side this is given to be a a and this cubic so all the sides are going to be equal okay so the volume board the cube of what the side which you bought a cube okay so for now from this right angle triangle that you have here okay you can derive an expression for a because the question says you should express the volume in terms of what the atomic radius what are so you have to find an expression for a that you can substitute here because this volume here is in terms of what a but we need it in terms of what the atomic radius what R. So let's look at how you are going to do it. So considering this right angle triangle, we can have a squared plus a squared equals what 4 r squared. Okay, that's from Pythagoras theorem. So the square of these two sides added will be called what the square of what the diagonal length. Okay, so you want to find an expression for a so which means that you want to make a the subject okay so in doing this adding this side okay i'm going to have 2a squared okay and then this should be equal to what 4 squared to give me 16 and then r squared to give me what r squared okay so this is what you have now so over here you can divide both sides by 2 you can divide both sides by 2 so this will cancel out this then this will cancel out this so we are going to have 8 here. Okay, so we are going to have a squared to be equal to what? 8 r squared. Okay, the 2 here will go into 16 8 times. Okay, so that's what we have now. So now I want to make a the subject. Okay, so we are going to have a to be equal to the square root of what? 8 r squared. Okay, I can write this as, let me write this again. 8 r squared okay i can write this as square root of 8 times the square root of what r squared right this square will cancel out the square root and then we know the square root of what 8 will be what 2 root 2 
then I'm going to have R here. So then we are going to have A to be equal to what? 2R square root of what? 2. So now we've expressed A in terms of what? R. So we can substitute into this formula that we have here. So now let's substitute it into the formula. So we are going to have V to be equal to 2R root 2 Q. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is going to be 2 to the power 3, that will be 2q times rq times the square root of 2q. Okay, so this is what you have. So let's simplify this. 2q will give me 8, and then times rq, that has to be rq, okay, and then times what? The square root of 2 Okay, that also give me 2 root 2. So when I simplify this, I'm going to have it to be what? 16 R cube root 2. Okay, so that would V. So that's for the A part. So let's move on to the B. In solving for the B, you are going to need the, the volume. Okay, so let's keep this value somewhere. Okay, so let's put that there. Then let me free up some space. Okay, so now for the B, we'll be asked to show that the atomic packing factor for FCC crystal structure is 0 0.74. So let's look at how you are going to do this. So now let's look at how you can show that the atomic packing factor for FCC crystal structure is 0 0.74. Okay, so the atomic packing factor APF is defined as the volume of atoms in a unit cell divided by the total unit cell volume. Okay, so that's volume of atoms. volume of atoms in a unit cell okay in a unit cell divided by the total unit cell volume total unit cell volume so this is the formula that you are going to use to calculate for the atomic packing factor okay so i'm going to use this to show that the atomic packing factor for fcc equals 0 0.74 so you need to calculate for the volume of what atoms in the unit cell okay this unit cell is an fcc unit cell that's the face centered cubic unit cell and then for this unit cell we have four atoms in it okay so the number of atoms are four okay and then each atom is considered to be a sphere okay so in this case we are considering we are considering the atoms to be what a sphere okay and then we know that the volume of a sphere okay volume of a sphere is given to be four by three pi r cube okay four over three pi r cube so this is the volume of what of a sphere. So to get the to get the total volume of what atoms in the unit cell, we will have to multiply the number of what atoms by what the volume of what of a sphere. Okay, so we have what four atoms in this unit cell. So you are going to multiply by what the volume. Okay, so you have the volume of atoms. Okay, I should bring off here. You have the volume of atoms. Then make it VA okay to be equal to the total number of atoms that was four times the volume of what of a sphere so that was four over three times pi r cube okay so simplifying this I'm going to have sixteen over three pi r cube okay so that's the volume of the 
total number of what atoms in this unit cell. So now what we need is the total unit cell volume and then we already calculated for that or solved for that in the question A, which is this expression that we have here. Okay, so we are going to use this to substitute for the total unit cell volume. So let's look at how we are going to do this. So we are going to have the atomic packing factor to be equal to the volume of what atoms in the unit cell and then that was 16 over 3 pi r cube okay divide by what the total unit cell volume and then that's what 16 r cube root 2 okay so let's see what we get this will give us 16 over 3 pi r cube okay times the reciprocal of what we have here that will be 1 over 16 r cube root 2 okay so you can do some cancellations there before then let me free up some space okay so let's continue so we have the APF as atomic packing factor to be 16 over 3 okay pi r cube times 1 over 16 r cube root 2 so you can do some cancellations here okay so this r cube will cancel out this r cube and this system will cancel out this system so then you're going to have APF to be equal to so that what pi over 3 root 2 okay pi over 3 root 2 so let's find the value of this pi over 3 root 2 that will give me a value of 0 0.74 so this will be the atomic packing factor so this is how to show that the atomic packing factor for an FCC crystal structure is what 0 0.74 all you have to do is to follow this step that we just followed thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe